Melanocytes reside in the basal layer of the epidermis and are responsible for synthesizing melanin, which under normal conditions helps to protect against UV damage. The enzyme tyrosinase is responsible for the production of melanin. Melanoma is a malignant tumor of melanocytes, which generally develops as a result of intrinsic or extrinsic factors. Intrinsic factors include inherited genotypes. The most predominant extrinsic factor is exposure to the sun. UV radiation causes damage to the DNA of cells via thymine dimerization, which when left unchecked can create gene mutations in a cell. When the cell divides, these mutations are transmitted to new generations of cells. If these mutations develop within proto-oncogenes, or tumor suppressor genes, the rate of mitosis can become uncontrolled, leading to the formation of a tumor. Family history of melanoma can also increase a person's risk. Mutations in CDKN2A, CDK4, and several other genes have been found in melanoma-prone families. These genes are important in cell cycle regulation. Cell cycle regulatory proteins are necessary to regulate the capacity for cell growth and division. Virtually every factor involved in cell cycle regulation is altered in particular tumor types. In contrast to normal human melanocytes, which produce and respond only to a limited number of growth factors, melanoma cells grow autonomously and secrete a plethora of cytokines and growth factors. This aberrant production of multifunctional factors allows cancerous cells to proliferate independently of external growth factors. Cytokine production by melanoma cells induces tumor cell proliferation stimulates angiogenesis and cell adhesion molecules and generates resistance to inhibitory proteins of cell proliferation. The production of interleukin-10 or IL-10 and vascular endothelial growth factor can confer immunosuppressive properties to melanoma cells by blocking the maturation and function of antigen-presenting cells or APCs, thus resulting in defective antigen presentation. IL-2 is a protein that occurs naturally in the body and plays an important role in activating and increasing the number of T-cells. IL-2 therapy possesses the same properties as naturally occurring IL-2 and helps to increase T-cell activation and synthesis of B-cells, natural killer or NK cells, and cytotoxic T lymphocytes, all of which are critical to immune system function. Once activated, helper T-cells secrete cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor, or TNF, and interferon gamma, which both have anti-tumor effects. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes and NK cells directly kill tumor cells. IL-2 is used in first-line or second-line therapy for advanced melanoma. Interferon alpha has been used in the adjuvant treatment of melanoma. Interferons work by binding to cell surface receptors and interacting with specific genes in both normal and neoplastic cells. They modulate the expression of host NK cells, T cells, monocytes, and dendritic cells in both cancerous and non-cancerous tissue. This in turn increases the immune response to tumor cells. Research suggests that the CD28-CTLA4 combination presents a promising target for cancer therapy. CTLA4 is one of two homologous cell surface proteins that counterbalance each other in the stimulation and inhibition of T-cell proliferation and activation. Epilimumab and tremelimumab are two immunomodulatory monoclonal antibodies that bind to and block the activity of CTLA-4 to promote tumor regression by immune mechanisms. These drugs are currently being studied in Phase 2 and 3 trials. CTLA-4 inhibits T-cell activation and thus inhibits secretion of IL-2, the cytokine that acts as an immune system signaling molecule and growth factor for immune cells. 
CD28 is a co-stimulator of T-cell proliferation and IL-2 production. Inhibiting CTLA-4 with CTLA-4 antibodies allows CD28 to initiate immune activation and tolerance breakdown, resulting in tumor eradication. It is likely that the CTLA-4 blockade augments the immune response by inhibiting regulator T-cells in tumors, promoting memory T-cell proliferation and APC function, increasing the elaboration of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and augmenting tumor antigen-specific immune responses.